So we say with confidence. Because if we look at the next line, oh, when I have my glasses on, I think I start talking a little more studious. <laughs> I start pronouncing every letter more precisely. I hear it. Mm. With my glasses, I can hear you more smartly. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cardia. I am Princess K of the Milky Way. Princess K of the Milky Way and this here is Frank looking studious. Well, he's in butter yellow. Butter yellow. He should. From a, yesterday's podcast? Yeah. He, you know, he's just so slow. <laughs> <laughs> One episode behind all the time. <clears throat> You know the color butter yellow. It's a color. No. Oh, like if you were to paint your walls or whatever. Ah, yeah. I just know yellow. Really? I'm not one of those people. Well, you have to be if you're trying to get paint. You would have to know the difference between buttercup and daffodil. No, and... no, but you like you look at the sh- like they have those um. Oh yeah. The, the shade little... things. What are they called? Test test. I want to say chip, but that's not it. Paint. No, you take a paint chip and then you look at the slides. Yeah, they're called color something. slides. Yeah, they're not called that, but color wheels. <laughs> color shade mobiles yeah those things yeah but no and then that's the first time i learned about the color mm. oh so that's what crimson red looks like right that's what off brand white eggshell looks like yeah i'm princess k of the milky way because again yesterday's podcast it was on butter and i i said that they crown uh butter royalty at the uh, minnesota state fair yeah and uh, i was calling her the dairy queen you don't know how long that was taking me to Google search when I was trying to find an image appropriate. I'm like, nope, still the store, still the store. Dairy Queen butter, nothing, nothing. It's, it's Princess K of the Milky Way. Okay, that probably would have made it a lot okay. easier. Okay, so that was that. Yes, and so I'm still confused about the whole story, even when I was looking into it. So, whose head are they making? Princess K of the Milky Way. But she is the bake she is the butter carver. No. No. Um there's there's been hundreds of Princess Ks every year you get crowned like you know like um Miss Nashville. I'm confused who is retiring though cuz the, the carver. So that's what so, so I'm confused. I don't know what her name is. Some lady. But how is it a competition if it's one lady carver? It was never a competition. It wasn't. It's her it's her honor. She you're, the, the competition is who gets to be Miss Princess K. I keep calling her Miss K. Princess K of the Milky Way. That's okay. the competition. And the, that... The winner... Yeah. I will now carve you out of butter. Yeah. Uh, that woman is just her job. It's not a competition. There's other com- There's other butter ca- carving oh, competitions. Oh, okay. Well, I'm so confused. <laughs> so the carvers are all carving a head of one woman. There's only one no. carver. She is the grand <clears throat> carver. So what's the competition? Oh, I don't know how you become Princess K of the Milky Way. That it's just like it's like a beauty pageant or something. So so whoever wins the competition and becomes Miss K yes. gets their head carved yes. by this person who just retired. Now it makes more sense. So yeah. this person's always carving Miss K of the Milky Way, but Miss K of the Milky Way is not always the same person. Right. That, okay. So this woman's like eighty years old now and she's like you know, she has to carve in a refrigerated yeah. case. And she said, I'm too cold. The story's making a lot more sense now. Because I was seeing all these butterheads that kind of look similar. I know. But I'm like, they all had different nameplates. And I'm like, well, none of these are Miss K. No, I know. This is a well, l- now we Lewis. cleared it up. Yeah, okay. Now we cleared it up. I get it. I get it now. Do you notice that Frank and I are wearing Mickey Mouse ears? I didn't get the memo. The, Mick- the Mickey Mouse memo. You don't belong to the Mickey Mouse club. Ah. Um, Today is his birthday. Mickey Mouse is, uh-huh. and was the original Mickey Mouse Steamboat Willie? I don't know. I, I think he was a bunny or something. What? The original Mickey Mouse was like a bunny. Wasn't even a mouse? <laughs> no, I don't think so. So how do you still qualify him at his birthday? Oh, because they're going by when he turned into a mouse. So I think 1928 or something. It was November 18th. No, that is, that's what I was asking. Was Steamboat yeah. Willie the original Mickey Mouse as a like, mouse? Like his first show? His first? Well, that's when he would be created, yeah. Production? I don't know. He well, could have been created before that. I'll look it up. On postcards. He, his birthday is today. So happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mickey Mouse. How Mickey old Mouse. is he? He's from 1928. So he is not 100 yet. 100 minus 892. It's all right. <coughs> 92. 
Oh. I'm allergic to rodents. So it's Mickey Mouse Day, and it's also Princess Day, which is interesting because of all the Disney princesses. Princess K from the movie. Yeah. And all the Disney princesses. Yes. Um, of course, your favorite is? I don't have a favorite. Mm. I like Tiana. I like Tiana. I don't know. I like Mulan. She was like an entrepreneur and... Also, I just loved the um the whole setting of the movie and I like Mulan, kind of. I think she's pretty dope. And uh, we have to like Tiana because she uh, works with a frog. Oh, and Kirk and Crow, yeah. Who else do I like? <laughs> I like Pocahontas. Mm, I like Jasmine. You know the one the one princess movie that um the princess wasn't the main character. A little interesting fact. I like oh. Ariel. Uh, I like Cinderella. Do you like Catherine Middleton? <laughs> I couldn't think of her last name. Who? Uh, Princess Kate in 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 the in Princess William's wife. The real life princess. Yeah. I don't know. You don't like real life princesses. Only cartoons. Oh. oh yeah. I don't even like live it's adaptations. Like your therapy, th- your therapist. That. Yeah. Um. So yeah, you, you think of a princess, you think of frogs, and. And if you think of frogs, you think of croak and crow. It all comes back to us. And you just us. say, wait, am I subscribed? You re- you double check. You double check. You go right from Disney Plus <laughs> to YouTube. Yeah. Back to Disney Plus. Check. I, I suggest people check, you know, because sometimes they, I'm not joking right now. Oh. Sometimes people say, I don't know why it unscri- unsubscribed me. Oh. Um, you know, hit your bells. You hit the bells and whistles. All the bells and whistles. <laughs> hit your bells and your saves and your shares and, and um, maybe... Our frog will turn into a prince. Oh, I'll give him a little kiss on the cheek one of these days. They are discovering so many frogs. Ugh. That's good, I believe. Really? Yeah. Why? I don't know. Mostly you hear things are going into extinct. I can see how a frog can hide. Like a little Amazon. Those, you ever see how those real small frogs? Yeah. They're like on your fingertip? Yeah. Ugh. A lot live underwater. Me out. You know, it's hard to find. Yeah, they're amphibians. But with technology... um. They have apps, you know, these phone apps. Take a picture, see right. what type it is. So people all over the world, when they're doing this just for their own um, informational purposes, yeah. it goes into a database. And so the scientists will say, like, we never heard that croak before. What? What is it? Or we never heard. We never saw that frog. And yeah. so that's how they're discovering them. Oh, technology. Yeah. Technology. Even, oh. like I said, underwater, there's a Japanese scientist who... Um, he, I didn't know it was crazy important, but the, he, he, he recorded a frog croaking underwater. That's pretty cool. Okay. So most people thought it was, I was just like, I never thought about it. Well, yeah. Cause they can't make sound. Any kind of sounds underwater is cool. Yeah. Like the, uh, like the. Ariel. Oh, no, I was thinking like dolphins, like. Oh. <laughs> Oh, or whales. Or whales. Yeah. This is very... Um, oh, if any know. whales are watching this, they're probably freaking out right now. How does he know my language? <laughs> SeaWorld. One how, of the trainers is playing. They're saying, how, did, how does he know our language? But we're not saying, how are they watching us? Because at SeaWorld, one of the trainers is like, yeah, jump again. Uh, jump again. Oh. Meanwhile, Kurt and Crow is playing. And they're like, wait, you said escape? Jump, jump. And then jumps right out of SeaWorld. <laughs> He should walk out in like a, a trench coat and glasses. Yeah. A blonde wig. <laughs> yeah. So um, happy birthday, Mickey. Happy birthday, Mickey. Happy frogs. Happy days to the frogs who are being discovered. Frogs and, and mice and all the things you don't want to find in your house. Happy princess day. To princess. I, mean, I think you'd like to find a princess in your house. <laughs> Sounds kind of weird. <laughs> what are yeah. you down there? Yeah. Actually, no. Speaking of princesses and houses, it, uh, like the Japanese princess. If you're, oh, you're if you're right. in New York right now, you might find a uh, a princess in your house. True life princess. You're renting to a true life. Wonder princess. how she's done. I know. We should call her. We should call her. <laughs> take a drive up there. A little yeah. two hour drive. Meet princess. I forget her name. And so do I. Mm. Maybe she has a new name now that she got married. Maybe I but don't it, know how. The but it Japanese is her it. day, even though I believe she gave up her royalty. So. Ex princess. Maybe she doesn't want to be. Reminded. I think it's like Marines. You know, once a princess, always a princess. Mm-hmm. Like, who's going to tell you you're no longer a princess? A lot of people. I mean, that no, but that's true. 
That's true because Princess Diana, I do believe they took away her princess dumb and people refused to call her anything else. They're like, oh, well, she's still Princess Diana. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong about that. I'm wrong about so much. And that's okay because we live in a simulation. So <laughs> No, who- don't say that. It's okay because I'm I'm right about a few things. You know, it's funny. We always say like, uh, it's like a Gen Z thing. Like, oh, we live in a simulation. And with like the metaverse and stuff, like we uh, are, we were, we were a self fulfilling prophecy. We kept yeah. saying we're living in a simulation, and we're going to say it until we actually are living in a simulation. You're right. But then, to those people who said we're living in a simulation, would that be a simulation within a simulation? Spencer, would that be simulation? You're giving me a headache. And simula- guess what I'm thinking about? Simulation. Remember the metaverse? Yeah. What this said? Yeah. <laughs> I remember it. Okay. And you were like, we could meet there meet yes our, meet our people there we could even combine what you said in in the bar po- podcast and our bar could be in the metaverse okay no, no drunk driving no drunk driving <laughs> just be in your house put on your headset oh, yeah i'm sure people will like that yeah you know there's there's the lonely old people who just... you could be social and young as well but remember i told you i didn't want like there's gonna be an age cut off in my bar oh even in the metaverse yeah. Okay. Well, because that's the thing. If but people can lie. What? People can lie in the metaverse. Oh, I'll know. Oh. I'll say, turn your front camera on. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see how old you are. No, because I'm, I'm like imagining. Because, you know, I'm, I'm always trying to see the bright side of metaverse and not how, like, how it takes you away from reality. Okay. And how it can bring people who can't be social to be social. Yeah. Think of an old person living on their own no i love it wants to want to you know, put back an old one or an old one <laughs> an old one wants to knock back a cold one um and what are they gonna do drink by themselves listening right. to the radio the old ball game right or hey i'll be there wiping the, the meta table yeah with my meta rag being like how are you don um i've often thought that about bars you know because you can buy a six pack or a bottle of wine or whatever to drink wine in bars, maybe in a wine bar, but so for so much cheaper. Yeah. But you want to get in your car, drive to a place, be overcharged, get back in your car after you've sobered up and come home. Um, so this will be safer and less expensive. And you know what? We're, we're providing all of the bases. Oh, right. Because this. the reason we people don't do that now is because you don't want to drink alone. Number one, I think it's a red flag, but <laughs> I don't. I mean, I've read it. You don't. No, I do, but okay. Fix all that up so I don't sound judgy or (laughs) Or like a drunk. (laughs) Judgy or a drunk. Like I don't say like a judgy drunk. Um fix it. Every time I tell you to fix (laughs) things, I come back and I watch it and it's in. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do I'm gonna sing um uh what's it called? Copywritten music. Okay, do it. I'll leave that in (laughs) too. Yeah. So anyway, you're making me nuts. All right. What do you want to do? Want to want to dance? Nah, not today. Yeah, I'll dance. All right. Every time I say want to dance, it's because I want to lead into the visual of walk walk, walk through Thursday. Yeah. Well, why don't you just say that? Because it's just it's, it's, it's the, walk through Thursday, y'all. It's the cue. It's the cue. Uh, roll the intro, please. Welcome back. Hope you're having fun. Cuz walk through Wednesday just begun. Ew, what's poppin' people? It is walk through Thursday with your boy and your girl and your toy. You're not a toy. You're a man. I'm a man. I'm 40. Um, what's up? How you doing? Walk through Thursday. What is it? What is it? I'll tell you what it is. It's the day of Thursday every week that we are here on Croak and Crow. We open up the Bible. Bible's open. I have a sparkle on my finger. And we pick a verse. Any verse. There's so many verses. Hmm. You know how many verses there are? No. A lot. Of course. So, so Too many to think about right now, but we only don't have to think about one, and that's the beauty of it. Because we slow it down for y'all. We try to find the deeper meaning in just one verse. You know, you can look at the deeper meaning in the Bible. You can try to think about these big old questions of the universe. Or you can look at one verse and say, what is this meaning to me right today on this day of January? Or November. November November 17th. 18th. Or 18th. So, yeah. So What's we're gonna, the temperature? 
Fifth. Oh, it's hot today. Yeah. It's nice today. It's a, it's a crisp like 67 or something. No, seven, well, I don't know about right now, but when I was out earlier, it was 71. 71. It's a beautiful thing in Degrees November. Fahrenheit. Wow. We should stick, our, stick around. But anyway, we're going to pick a verse and we're going to walk through it. Go slowly and truly. Sentence by sentence. Line by line. Word by word. Syllable by syllable. And letter by letter. So without further ado. Adieu. Walk through Thursday. Let's walk through Thursday. It's the Thursday that we walk through. Yeah. W T F T T. W T T. I don't know what you're waiting for. You, the paper's right there. Oh, usually you introduce it for me. I do not. You do. I do not. I say, what do we? I say, like, what are we talking about no. today? And you say, today we're talking about Hebrews. And no. I'm like, and then you pass me the paper. I'm like, oh, okay. okay so go back. Hello. Look at the. Each walkthrough Thursday is titled walk, a walkthrough Thursday, and I want the people to watch it and see if I I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do last week's and we'll see. It's right here. All right. Anyway, let's get into it. Why don't we? Okay. You're the reader. I like the book and you're a good reader. <clears throat> oh, wow. There's so, so much I like about this without even reading it. So first we are reading Proverbs. Look at that. I was right. <laughs> All right, guys. Today we are talking about Hebrews. Did you know that that uh, that the Bible says that only men should um should make coffee for their for their household? It's right there in the book of Hebrews. <laughs> Come on, Spencer. I thought you were gonna make a beer, a beer joke because we just talked about bars. Uh, you, you are you are <laughs> on something today. <laughs> were you at the metaverse bar? Hebrews is in. The New Testament. It is. It is a book of, or not even a book. It is a letter of Paul's to the Hebrews, you know, giving them all that good Christian information. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, aren't funny? they Jewish? What? Aren't they Jewish? Yeah. That's why he's giving them Christian oh, okay, information. Okay. 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 Oh, just, gotcha. It would be redundant if you were just gotcha. giving them more Jewish well, information. Well, we talk. Yeah. Cut that out. <laughs> None of this is getting cut out. Would you stop saying that? This is. Un cut that out. And don't, don't ask to sniff my water. <laughs> <laughs> unscripted un unadulterated what does unadulterated mean i feel like i say it a lot in this podcast adulterated is when you like you messed it up so like not messed it up but like say i etched this um nobody knows we have this but it's a glass um divider if i etched crook and crow into it I i've adulterated it okay. you've done something to change the original state yes this is an unadulterated podcast no etching done except to make my face glow well, it doesn't have to be etching. It could be the sweater. You, you know, it's just to change the original state of something. Awesome. So we're talking about Hebrews 13, 6. That's it? Not 13, 6 to 7? Just 13, 6? Okay. I like it. Short and sweet and simple. Yeah. We're looking at the new international version today, but you follow along with any version you have at home. Yeah. <clears throat> So we say with confidence, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? Ooh. You know what that first line reminds me of? Confidence? Oh, sorry. Second line. <laughs> the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. Sounds sort of like the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Oh, or the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not. Fear. Fear. It's. Right. Um, I, feel, I shall fear no evil. I fear no. You, I, that's right. I shall fear no evil. Um. So you're absolutely right. So Paul here is referencing the twenty third psalm. Yeah. Why not? Okay. So let's walk through it, shall we? Yeah. Shall we? Shall. So we? we say with confidence. Do we need to break that down? Well, you know, because you've now said that it reminds you of the twenty third psalm. P.S. We have. Six installments of the 23rd Psalm on the Walkthrough Thursday playlist. Actually, there might also be a 23rd Psalm playlist. It's Yeah, I think there's a specific playlist for it. And it's what started off the Walkthrough Thursdays. Yeah, You got you want to be like Frank and wear glasses? Yeah. You're so jealous. I have my own glasses. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think he's saying with confidence because he is referencing the 23rd Psalm. So it's not like... <sighs> There, okay. Look at you. I can see the everything now. Oh my gosh. You're like, <laughs> yeah, what? those are the eyes see. 
Oh, there's a glass of C. I oh, know. Now I feel left out. Oh, now I'm going to be so. Oh, here. Oh, my gosh. This is the get up and down th Thursday. Well, you are walking. Okay, that's different, but it's good for it's good for Mickey Mouse's birthday. <laughs> I feel cool. Why don't you switch to Frank? Okay. These Isn't are blue. <laughs> these are blue light too, so you'll be good with these. Okay. And, and he's wearing the Mickey Mouse ears. He'll look good. Uh, uh, uh. All right. All right. Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. I think it's working. The glasses podcast. Wow. I feel like I'm gonna get so distracted just looking at myself now. Two, four, six, six eyes. Hmm. What are we doing again? Six eyes. I said that since it is a letter from Paul and he's trying to talk to people and he's trying to get these people to um, believe him. And if they are Hebrew, like you said, he's trying to t bring them Christianity. He's using the Old Testament as a offering as mm. so say with confidence. And, and this is a whole thing that you just brought me into by saying that it reminds you of 23rd Psalm. Yeah, why not? And also, I think there's an important uh, uh, idea with... So we say with confidence, because if we look at the next line, oh, when I have my glasses on, I think I start talking a little more studious. <laughs> I start pronouncing every letter more precisely. I hear it. Mm. With my glasses, I can hear you more smartly. <laughs> <laughs> so we say with confidence, and then you look at the next line, the Lord is my helper, I will not be afraid. So that idea of when you're looking at you know, Hebrews 13.6, it's in times of being afraid, is it not? Where it's like you're telling yourself, I will not be afraid. Oh, yeah. And I think such an important part of not being afraid is saying it with confidence. You ever have oh, you ever have a, a, a ghost in your room? Yeah, sure. <laughs> you ever think there's a ghost yeah, in your room? I need, yeah. And when you're hiding under your covers, you're so scared. But when you stand up, chest out, you say confidently, I'm not afraid of you. It's, it's, or even if you don't say that. Um, I know lots of times if you think you hear somebody in the house or something, you don't go, hello? You, you go like, get out of my house. <laughs> or you just go like, <clears throat> like, who's there? Who? Hey. Right? Like, don't you say it like with confidence? Like, hey. you don't say like, can I help I you? I have two hands and I'm not afraid to use them. <gasps> don't say that to Frank. <laughs> oh, sorry, Frank. Yeah. So say with confidence. Don't just say, the Lord's my helper. I'm not be afraid. The Lord's my helper. I'm not yeah, be afraid. Yeah, yeah. Lord, if you say it with confidence, that's the Lord you're speaking on. The Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. I will not. I will not. And why won't I? Because what can mere mortals do? <laughs> <laughs> Sound like a cartoon character. Mere mortals. What do mere mortals? What can mere mortals do? To All of me? a sudden, <laughs> mere mortals. <laughs> I will not be afraid. Look at me, you're mortal. Yeah, I felt like the, that one kid at school, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. What can you mere mortals do to me? You were that kid. <laughs> <laughs> I've got an anime on my side. <sighs> okay, back. This is the Bible you're speaking on. Praise the Lord. Amen. And thank you for the joy. Okay, okay. So now let's walk through it. So, so we say with confidence. Okay. Basically, all we've done is talk about the first line about confidence, the importance of of having all of this, these feelings, this prayer confidently. Mm -hmm. you're, you're not half button it and saying, you're you're saying it with your chest because the Lord is behind you. Right. So the Lord is my helper. That's interesting. I know. I was thinking that. Again, it's when, you know, to think of this, the greatest, most powerful you can't say his his name. You can't look upon yeah. him. That he's your helper. Your helper. Helper is like your. I say your accomplice. Your apprentice. You know. Your. Yeah. Your um. But but this this God is helping you. Yes. What is the matter? I'm thinking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you saw something. Okay. Um. No, because I remember we we talked about it in the in the twenty third Psalm. Um, episodes and we were talking about this idea that we're the ones navigating mm -hmm. but our fear is coming from the fact that we're being protected not led oh and and, and it was like not it was a idea that we make all the choices on our own and god's always there with us which is a comforting thought 
Because then it's like you can't ever really stumble off the path. Mm. And then now you're away from God. Oh, yeah. And that's why I, I like this. The Lord is my helper. It's not. It, it's it's saying that no matter what I do, the Lord will be there. And and also I like it because I think, you know, it it helps a lot of situations in life, right? Where you think, why did God not, why did God let me go through this? Like, why, why did, why, why did God yeah. not step in sure. or put me in a, in a better position? And the idea of a helper is no mm. matter what situation you're in, like you have free will. We live in a life that, that things can happen, but that helper, no matter what the situation is, you have a helper. It's not like, right. how did you guide me over here? It's not, it, it, it's, you were, you were navigating through life and you had, I don't know why I keep like pointing down here, but. Aw, God's holding you. Oh. Uh, you, like a sheep under the arm. <laughs> yeah, but you had you had the help. Uh, you have the helper the yeah. whole time, no matter what. Yeah, I like it. So you can say it with confidence. You can walk with confidence. Strut your stuff. You know, because you're afraid to walk. Oh, you're afraid to open doors. You're afraid to go to new places. You're afraid to think new things. But you don't have to be. You don't have to be. I will not be afraid. Yeah. I will not. Why would I be afraid? That's not easy, you know. Yeah. That's, I think that's a big that's a big thing. Well, the reason I would think it would not be easy is because when you say the last line, which is, what can mere mortals do to me? On one hand, you're like, you feel happy, right? What can mere mortals yeah, do to me? Yeah, you're just a mere mortal. Now, I have trouble, too. It's not the easiest All right, I got to talk to Paul after this. Yeah. <laughs> he shouldn't have put the two words together. But then you get a little afraid because you say, wait a minute, I'm a mere mortal. Yeah. So that's. I wasn't thinking that. Oh. I was thinking like, it's, what can mere mortals do to me? Because yeah, once again to to carry everything but the last bit, I'll not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? I'm one of God's children. It's easy to say on paper, but then you get these scary thoughts of, well, they can kill me. Right. Uh, they can. Right. They can. They can seriously injure me. They can ruin my life. Right. All all these things which they can do and. Are, uh, uh, are scary thoughts and what this verse is is not saying is that you can't put your hands on me you know i'm not afraid because the lord is my helper that's not what you're saying what like what who to me what the, what they're saying is your soul like they, they can't take that away from you mm-hmm. you and, and god's relationship which is more than your earthly life but the idea of you know i mean it's why the buddhists say that you reach nirvana on earth when you fully let go of of attachment, p- attachment yeah. to to your own body even yeah. and that's like the, the fully nirvana and so it's so hard to say it's, it's easy to, to understand like you can't touch my soul i will always have a relationship with god but then when push comes to shove it's not so easy it's like well they have a gun and <laughs> that looks like you can do a lot to right. me but that's the point of of this verse is to say and that's why we say it with confidence, you know? Yeah. And, and it also helps me with my statement because when I say, well, I'm a mere mortal, what you just explained was, okay, so that mortal could hurt the earthly mortality of you, yeah. but it can never hurt you. So yeah, a human could hurt another human, but nothing in the world could hurt the soul that God is protecting. Mm-mm, nothing. And yeah, so, you know, to, to bring it all around and that, that once again, like that's the very first line to say, we say with confidence and I mean, I think we talked before, it's like, what is it? Confidence isn't being afraid of, no, it, what is it called? Confidence isn't being nervous about something or no, sorry. Confidence isn't like not being uh, nervous about something. It's feeling that and doing it anyway okay and even though this says i will not be afraid Mm -hmm. i think part of the confidence is is that it's yeah the confidence is you are confidently saying i am not afraid even if you have the feelings of being afraid when you when you truly believe Mm -hmm. this like everyone will be unsure about things in life but you recite these kind of verses and you say it confidently i'm not afraid i'm not afraid because what can a mere moral do to me (laughs) in real life not real life, because that is real life. But just think in earthly life, um, if you have to do something that you're a little nervous about or that is going to need extra help, even if it's carrying a heavy box or, you know, having to go into a big crowd, you feel better if someone's with you. Yes. So 
to know that someone is always with you. Always with you. Is a great. So when at first look, you wouldn't think that it was um, a Bible verse for loneliness, but it could be. It could be. And if you're feeling lonely, it feels good to have a helper with you. Yeah. And you always have a helper with you. You always have God with you. And one day you'll have the metaverse come to our bar. Come to our bar in the metaverse. Yeah. We'll yeah, people alone. people like to alone. say you're born alone and you'll die alone, and it's not true. You're born with those loving you, and God on by your side, and you leave with the angels and God by your side. But that is walkthrough Thursday, number twenty nine. <laughs> I don't know if it's number twenty nine. We will be back tomorrow for Fun Friday. Until then. I don't know. Go be confident. Go confidently say that the Lord is your helper and you will not be afraid. You know why? Because what can mere mortals do to you? Peace. Amen. Amen.